So the first thing I want to point out to you is that the CTA one is the fifth phase of your funnel. But the important thing to remember is the tighter and the most optimized that you make each phase of your funnel, the less people are going to fall out along the way, which means the more converted customers you get at the end and the more money you make from this. So I want you to pay specific attention to each phase and make sure you give a lot of effort up front because it really will pay you back in the long term. With that said, on to call to action one, which I want you to remember the main goal of call to action one is to take a follower from your Instagram account to your website or squeeze page, where squeeze page is just a page where you can collect someone's email address. You don't have to have them sign up in this phase. This is just call to action one, which means they just have to click the link in your bio and visit the page. This is what we want to make really tight so that then we can have call to action two and get them to sign up for the email address after that. So the only way that you can get people to click from your Instagram bio to your website is to give them enough reason to or enough motivation to actually click the link. So to do that, you need to offer value. Remember the mindset that I gave you at the start. What is valuable enough to outweigh the cons of clicking the link? What is so irresistible that they have to click that link and go to your website? To give you a hypothetical example, if the link was click here and you will instantly win a million dollars. If this was true, please don't lie. I'm sure you would get about a 99% click through rate. So 99% of people would click that link and visit the page just because the value that you're giving $1 million outweighs the cons of not clicking the link. With that in mind, you're not going to be able to give it away a million dollars, but what freebie can you afford to give away that people still can't refuse to turn down? So there's a few ways that you can discover the best freebie or the best piece of value to give away. And a few suggestions written on your screen right now is you could give away a checklist. So it could be if you ran a makeup store, the five step checklist to make sure your makeup is always perfect. Uh, it could be a guide, the guide to your perfect make makeover or makeup. Uh, it could be a discount, get 10% off your first makeup purchase. It could be a uh, gift voucher. So it could be get $10 off your free, get $10 off your first purchase. Or even if you wanted to give a lot away, you could say get a free makeup brush by f uh, clicking on this link and give away free makeup brushes. I don't know how much they cost, but really find out what value works for you in order for converting people from followers to email addresses and give that away. Give away as much value as possible that is smart for your business so that's replicatable and uh, doesn't destroy your business over the long term that's why digital products are great such as the next one which is a video you can make an instructional video of the best way to apply your makeup and if you word that right on your instagram account people are going to want to see the best way to apply makeup especially because they're already interested in makeup as you know because we're only targeting people who have interest in our business so there are four really cool ideas if you can't come up with anything. One thing I really want to stress and point out is you want to solve one specific need. So don't choose three or four of these freebies and try and give them all away unless you're giving away as like a bundle. But you really want to like niche down and say the five step checklist to perfect makeup or perfect eyeliner. You don't want to be like, oh, here's the checklist for the best makeups in the world. Also the best way to apply the makeup and this and that. You want to solve one specific need that people want to be solved. This is just proven time and time again to convert a whole lot better. Now, I'm going to jump into a couple of examples of this, but what I want you to keep in the back of your mind while I'm walking through the examples is the reason why people would click this. So recognizing that you're giving away more value than you're taking, which is just a click and seeing why people would take these call to actions from the bio to the website and making sure that you're offering equal or more value to this so that your followers are going from your Instagram account to your website, which is step one of three of getting them to be paying customers. I'm back on my iPad and I'm on Drew Canoli's Instagram page and I wanna show you his call to action. Here is the first example. So this is call to action one. It's just getting people from an Instagram account to a website, to your website. So his call to action, you can see at the bottom of his bio is 
grab your organic superfood green juice here and a downward arrow to his website. Now, a lot of people following him knows he's the juice guy. He has a Fit Life TV uh, YouTube channel, which means he's into fitness and juicing and everything clean. People following him, as you can see, there's almost 90,000 of them, are, gonna wanna, are going to want to get an organic superfood green juice, and they're very likely to click this link right here to find out more information about it. So that's the first example I wanted to give you, a very good one in getting people to click through. The second one is a friend of mine, Brandon Epstein from Zen Dude Fitness. You can see he's got his bio laid out in dot points with lightning bolts on them. His last dot point is grab my free two bowl mill system here and then a link to his website with a downward arrow pointing to it. So it's a free two bowl mill system that he's come up with himself and it's an ebook. Uh, but you don't even have to know that yet. People just see the word free two bowl meal system. They follow Brandon because he's in fitness and he's an authority in the fitness realm. So they know that they're going to get good value out of this free resource. Whatever it is, it could be a video, it could be an ebook. And they click on the link to find out more. The one piece of advice I would offer to Brandon would be to make it a little more results based, solving one specific need as we talked about. So grab my two bowl meal system here to lose X amount of weight in one week. So that really gives them the result and it solves the one specific need of weight loss. So make sure when you're crafting your call to action, you have it results based and you keep the website in the bio hyperlink. So that's the website section when going to edit your profile and you have the call to action above the website as you can see has been done in these last two examples. So that's call to action one. I'll let you go craft your own first call to action after you brainstorm what freebie you're giving away. You don't have to create the freebie yet. We're going to do that soon. But right now, we just want people to go from your Instagram account to the website that you link to. I know what you're thinking. If you don't already have a website, which may be you, I'm going to show you a really cool resource that you can use in order to grab emails. So on to call to action two, where we take the person who visit our website and we convert them into an email address.